Hello everyone, I'm not really sure how else to start this video, but I'm just going to start by explaining what this project is. So basically I started this project at the beginning of November. Pretty much my thought process was getting some buttons and then wiring them up to a microcontroller and making that microcontroller act as a controller for the Switch. I asked my friend if this was possible at the beginning of the month and he pointed me towards the Teensy. At first I thought I would be able to just order some buttons and then the Teensy and then just wire it all up. But it turns out it was a lot more complicated than that. Um, I decided to use the Cherry MX Blue switches, don't judge me, and when I tried soldering one of them up, I quickly realized that it was going to take a long time to try and do that. Not to mention that if I wanted to put this in a case, it would be a rat's nest of wires. So I decided not to do that, just to save my sanity. And I originally ordered a TNC 4.0 as the microcontroller, but it turned out that the libraries for the Switch were written for the TNC 2.0++ and I had to return the board. Once I got the TNC 2.0++ I went ahead and soldered on the header pins. The key to soldering is patience and having a steady hand. Oh my god, look at my, what is my hand doing? Oh god, this is going to take forever. How many of these pins do I even have? There we go. Alright, look at that. And then I programmed the microcontroller to just spam a button. Next thing I did was wire up a button to the controller and pipe the button press through to the switch. Once I did that, I designed my printed circuit board online using Easy EDA, which was pretty cool. I hadn't designed circuit boards before and it was a really good intro for me to PCB design. Once I had finished designing the PCB, I ordered it from JLC PCB and I just waited. In the meantime, I made sure to program my TNC to fit with all the controls that I had configured for it. Once the circuit board got here, I just soldered everything up, which took a bit. And it was pretty much ready to go. I sat down in bed and tried to show off and win my first Tetris 99 game, but I didn't win one. Later on, I plan on 3D printing a base for the controller just so it's not balancing on those pegs in the center and so it's a lot easier to hold and it might add a lid to it as well to protect the keys when I bring it in my backpack but as far as the hardware is concerned this thing is pretty much finished and I will go ahead and show you this thing in use so I'm not really sure what order I'm recording this video in but I'm recording this after the clip that you see at the end of this video this is the PCB I haven't 3D printed anything for it yet but it works pretty well already, it just isn't very balanced and I kind of have to set this on my blanket and like put the pad underneath to keep it steady. But anyway, you have up, down, left, right on the D-pad. You have the hold button over here on the left and then KOs, attackers, random badges because nobody likes badges. I have minus, plus, A, B, X, Y just because I like playing like this and I like this being rotate clockwise and this being rotate anti-clockwise. This is the home button. This is actually the capture button. And these keycaps have been ripped off from, they're not ripped off, but just pulled off from my old Razer keyboard that I don't use anymore because I switched to SteelSeries, as you can kind of see back there. This is the Teensy 2.0. Hopefully I can get a 3D printed case for this soon. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Like there's not much else going on here. Just took eons to solder all this stuff together. This is my, oh god, the sun, this is my keyboard controller that I made, so yeah, that's, oh, oh god, I'm pressing buttons, don't, I mean, I had like a sort of warm up at work today, like I brought this to work and I just played some Tetris, that was like six hours ago, maybe, so yeah, my finesse is not perfect in this game. I hate it. I don't like how I do that. Like, I just search for a place to put one of my pieces. Oh god, I looked away for one second, somebody got on Steam. Oh, why did I do that? Oh my god, now I have to stack like this? Why, why the hell am I doing that? Ah! I mean, yeah, just as long as like, I'm in this chill mood, like I can just play this game calmly. Oh. That wasn't very cash money on me. Oh, there we go. 
That's alright, I'll just stack destructively. There we go. Something is happening. Whoa! Oh my god, but look at my badges. I have like none. God. Oh, my hands are so cold. This is not ideal. I cannot, I cannot play with my cold, cold hands. Oh, but clean stack. Look at this. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Like, worst comes to worst, I'll just get knocked down. Then I'll just have to go on to the next game. Hey, there we go. We got 50% up. Oh, I thought that was a JP's. My heart rate's going up just a little bit. That's fine. Look, there's already three players left, and, like, I'm doing kind of okay. I'm not stacking for Tetrises, but I'm doing sort of fine. Keeping calm. Yeah, these. this is probably not going to be very sufficient to win. And it's still, like, three... There's still, like, three players left. Is this, like, the freaking duel of the sentry that's going on with those last two players? Oh, he's sending me garbage. Oh, I could have made that a Tetris. Oh, but there's a free Tetris right there! And I'm still third place. Okay. Free Tetris. Yes! Oh my god! shit oh my god yes holy god i can't believe that just happened <laughs> oh my god oh god all done all you gotta do is just stay calm <laughs> i was getting nervous but i was still like talking through it and being calm that's what you gotta do to win <laughs> oh my god I can't believe that just happened. Only six KOs. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Holy shit. Okay.